No, dabar noriu pakviesti. Thank you so much. And now I'm inviting General Lejean, DK Wild. Jerome Lejeune, Managing Director, uh, Tall and uh, DKV Mobility. So, Jerome is going to speak about CO2 tolling. Impact of the Eurovignette Directive on the EU transport industry. Jerome is going to tell us about the legislative base on CO2 tolling and the impact of the Eurovignette Directive on the EU transport industry. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm French working in Germany, so please excuse my bad English accent. Uh, I would like to thank you, Valentina, for the, the, the explanation. DKV is also working uh, together with Microsoft for your information to develop new technologies. It's, AI is a revolution, but I, I believe that there is a, another revolution which is coming for our industry, which is CO2 tolling. So, I will uh, give you uh, an overview of what's happening and how it will impact your day-to-day -day business. First of all, there is a law, because in transportation, lots of things are based on law, and it comes from Brussels. There was, in March 24, in 22, a decision to implement CO2 tolling in all European countries. Um, clearly, it has to be done before 26. Then you have two bullet points which explain that you have to make check to know if you are in CO2 class 1, 2, 3. Um, I would say that the industry expected to have an easy way to classify vehicles, but linked to the fact that the decision of the European Commission is to put always higher and higher requirements. You have to do, I would say, dynamic calculation of the CO2 classes, and it will be changed every two years, every three years, sorry. So for these reasons, uh, it's something which will impact you in terms of making investment for buying new trucks if you are a transport company. But also, if you uh, want to optimize the way you travel through Europe, you have to take into account that there are countries where the tariff will increase by more than 80%. So it means that for the industry, when you are a transport company, you normally have three main cost drivers, the trucks, the people, the fuel or the energy. Tomorrow, toll will be as important, in some countries, more important than the fuel. So you have to keep that in mind because this is something which will uh, impact your business. Um, last but not least, you know that the tolling landscape, and I will come back on this topic later, is uh, a bit complicated in Europe. You have countries where you have truck tolling, light commercial vehicle tolling and personal vehicle tolling, other where you have only truck tolling, sometimes it's distance-based, sometimes it's time-based, so it's a bit complicated. Last but not least, you have countries where you have concessions like France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, Croatia, and in these countries, the old system will remain as they are, and there will be no CO2 tolling on this, uh, on, in these countries. But the first, I will say, disruption or revolution will be Germany. Why? Because the German state decided to be the first to implement the CO2 tolling. And not on a smooth way, but I will say on a strong way. Uh, they decide to increase the tariff in Germany by about 80%. It means that in this country, 
from collecting per year 8 billion euro toll, they will collect in 24 14 billion euro toll, and only on B2B and on truck. So the decision to implement it in Germany was done through a law just published on the 22nd of October. So you see that the, I would say the cycle between the law and the implementation is quite short. Um, it means that uh, in uh, seven days from now, all the tariffs in Germany will be changed. And it's something which will impact the business of the transport industry, but I believe in a wider manner, the consumer price for all what we transport uh, through with the trucks. Um, last but not least, Germany has decided to implement a new tolling system next year for the small trucks between 3.5 and 7.5 tons. Something which is new is that up to now, all the revenue coming from tolling were directly invested on the road infrastructure networks. It was the case in the past, and it's why I will say the basic to make the toll accepted by the consumers or by the industry. There is a change, there is a clear decision in Germany to invest the money collected in the highway network. So this is also something new for us. It means that it's not because you pay more toll, you will have better infrastructure. I would say the level of budget allocated to maintenance and new infrastructure in terms of road will stay as it is, and there will be a big portion of the money collected which will go to the highway network. Um, last but not least, because Germany and Austria are quite close, uh, the, the Austrian uh, government decided to introduce uh, a CO2 tolling by the 1st of January. In terms of tariff increase, it will be much lower, but it's something which uh, will have a strong impact also for those who are going through this country. Um, what is the outlook? So on this map, this is a map of tolling in Europe. You see that uh, except two countries, you have tolling everywhere. Trucks are tolled more or less everywhere. In terms of light commercial vehicles, the European Commission requested that all the vehicles with a weight higher than 3.5 tons shall be tolled in a close future or in a near future. So it means that Germany will do that, but I believe that other, like Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, will do that too. Um, in terms of what will happen, clearly there are states like Hungary, Czech Republic, which also have already have mentioned they will go to CO2 tolling. My, I will say my, my gut feeling, or what I strongly believe, is that all the other countries, if they see that it works for Germany, will implement a similar CO2 tolling in short terms. Why? It's because all the information are already available, and for them it will be an easy way to increase revenues in a time where every state are lacking of money. Um, I had some questions sometimes, is why are there no strike on the road when the tariffs are increased for trucks? You have seen in the past, when you put a new toll road, people are striking, especially in France, of course, but in other countries too. Uh, on the truck business, nobody takes care of the fact that the CO2 tolling will increase the cost for the transportation. The sole thing which we have to be aware is it will have an impact on the consumer price, which is between 2 and 5% depending on the type of goods you transport. So we will see how the acceptance works 
in a time where you have in Europe some recessions. Well, what is our role by DKV? DKV is there to help the transport industry. You drive, we care, this is our motto. Uh, and we know that it will have a huge impact on our customers. So it will increase their cost of operation. Uh, we have today a very uncertain environment business. We don't know if other countries will follow by mid of 24. So it means that when you negotiate your price with your customers, you will have to be very careful. What's happened in Germany can easily happen in other neighboring countries. Currently, Belgium state is thinking about either putting CO2 tolling or zero emission additional tax on the existing uh, Belgium network. And you see that everybody is looking at Germany and will uh, probably uh, implement something uh, uh, similar on an opportunistic method. Uh, I think that in this case, and in the current situation, competitiveness will be key to survive. So we have prepared to support our customers a set of, of, uh, of, of tools. Target is clearly to avoid fine by false declaration of the CO2 class, but also to make sure that the industry will benefit of all possible discounts. Uh, a, a little bit uh, about who we are uh, by DKV. Uh, we are a leader in Europe in B2B services. Uh, we have the, we give to our customers the possibility to benefit to the largest fuel station network in, uh, in Europe uh, with fuel. In e-mobility, which is also something developing a lot, we are always part of this disruption in the business and we have the, net, the highest network uh, acceptance in Europe. Because there are tax in every country, we also have a key player in the reform business. Reform business, it's VAT, but it's also excise duty in some countries. Last but not least, we also provide to our customers vehicle services with a very extensive uh, European-wide network to help our customers. That's part of our business. The second one, which is what we are discussing today, is the CO2 tolling. So what we have done, we have informed since the beginning of the year our customers to make their awareness there. It was very important to all of them to think about how they can implement in their contract with their customers the, the, the mandatory measures. We inform our customers on a very regular basis, which is uh, something important to make sure that aware about all what are the development. And because some decisions can be made very short term, I think it's key for, for our customers. Um, well, clearly, we are also present uh, on the uh, social media. We also allow our customers to have a very clear vision on their invoices if they want to pass through some of the cost to their final customers. Last but not least, we have a very strong sales team everywhere in Europe. In, uh, we have the chance to have Arturas today with us, which is supporting our business for the Baltic countries, and they know everything about the CO2 tolling. So clearly, what we, we try to do is to help our customers in these difficult times. How do we do that? Because it's a promise. When you promise something, you have to, to do it. Uh, we propose, since several months, already the possibility to pre-check your CO2 classes. So you can do it on an online portal. You also can make mass class check by uploading the information that you have. Why do we need to make this additional check? There is a reason for that. The CO2 class calculation is based on parameters which were never used for tolling systems. So we have to go back to the registration forms 
all the documents that you have when you buy a, a truck, and it's important to have it in order to prove, first to calculate and then to prove your CO2 class. Um, we also give a confirmation of this CO2 class. What we have seen, and it's the experience we had since a uh, few months, is that within the trucks manufactured between 2019 and today, only 15% benefits of CO2 classes which are favorable to have a discount. It means that even for the newest truck, you will have to pay full cost of it. It's important to, to have it in mind. It means that if you buy a truck, make sure that you will get a, a very good CO2 class. There are also in the calculation some specific things like even if you are well categorized in terms of class, if you have a cabin, for example, in your truck, you will not be able to benefit of the best class, but of the worst. So that's that type of things that we have seen. This is how it works um, by DKV. We already have collected all the information that our customers delivered. We have managed for those using a toll solution that all the toll box are already fit for the CO2 tolling on the 1st of December. It means that the customer who have given the information will not pay more than what they have to pay. And um, we are happy to confirm to all of our customers that if they give us this information, they will pay the right CO2 class in Germany, in Austria. Not sure that this is the file, this is the case for, for all the, the tolling tools that are used in Europe. Last but not least, um, you need to know how much you will pay. So to make sure that you can have an idea how much it will cost, we have implemented an online tool to give you the possibility to calculate the cost of your tour, to find what is the right uh, way to manage all your logistics and all, all the travel of your, 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 your trucks to make sure that you will pay the right price. So this is something that we have implemented. It's online, you can use it. And this is also a way for us to help our customers. Uh, about the impact medium term, there is no Q&A uh, session. So I will be very happy to welcome you on the DKV stand and I will be there or during the, the small break that we have to answer all your questions. And that's it. <laughs>